The Australian Summer School for Teachers of Mathematics was conducted at the University of New England in January 2008. 200 teachers from across Australia came and heard high profile presenters give lectures and presentations on a wide range of contemporary issues in mathematics. Thelma Perso, who is the President of the Australian Association of Mathematics Teachers and Executive Director of Curriculum, Queensland Education, presented a keynote address on cultural diversity, particularly focused on Indigenous education. Thelma, I was just wondering if you could tell us what the main focus of your presentation was. Yes, um, my presentation was, I guess, titled um, Closing the Gap and, and uh, particularly focusing on closing the performance achievement gap between Indigenous and non-Indigenous students in Australia. And um, I guess getting um, or giving our participants a, a sense of what I believe is behind that gap, particularly in a cultural sense. You know, what, what do these kids bring in that, into the classroom that's different? Right. What assumptions do we make and so on about these children and, and what they're bringing into the classroom? And looking very deeply into the culture in, in areas such as child rearing practices and so on mm. that, and learning styles which, which teachers can learn from. Right. So, um, how would you see this presentation as relevant to contemporary teaching of mathematics? Oh, absolutely relevant. Uh, I guess going back to the, uh, the early 80s when I started to teach, when we hardly had any research about mm. pedagogy, um, that um, particularly in the last 20 years where we've really started to focus on um, differentiating curriculum and the differentiated needs that each child has um, and that particularly for mathematics as a socio-cultural um, construct what does it mean for Indigenous children who have been brought up in different ways and, and different understandings of how concepts like measurement and quantification are used in their culture and what that means for teachers um, teaching Western mathematics yeah. in, West, in a Western schooling yeah. system. So there's certainly a lot there that I believe every teacher needs to understand probably more than anything, not to have a great deal of knowledge about, but more over to um, open up their eyes to differences that kids right. from different backgrounds have and, and the huge amount of assumptions that, yeah. that we make about those understandings. Mm. So are there some key issues or areas that you particularly wanted the uh, participants to go away from the school as um, things that they would work on when they go back to their school um, context? Yes, Russell, I think that um, certainly wasn't about me putting myself forward as an authority in this area or someone who has the answers and saying, well, you know, basically if, if they can go back to their classroom realising the, the deep need from a pedagogical um, sense to build bridges mm -hmm. um, in terms of scaffolding to the culture, to the language, to uh, well all those things that, that need to be done for, for every teacher when we're wanting children to achieve outcomes and have equitable access to outcomes mm -hmm. that we need to be differentiating the curriculum in that sense. And, um, I certainly made it very clear that if they go back to their schools, they may not be able to put any of it in practice mm -hmm. for, for particular Indigenous kids because the issues are so complex that um, the need to be building partnerships with Indigenous parents yeah. and the community, it means that the application of what I'm talking about will vary in every community. Mm -hmm. So that, I guess, is one of the challenges for me in my role with Education Queensland in terms of, um, you know, how do we differentiate across the state when yes. every Indigenous cultural group is different? The one size approach, one size fits all approach mm -hmm. doesn't work. And so it really comes back to individual schools. And, and I think some of it for in, um, teachers of Indigenous kids, and certainly I classed myself in that area teaching mm -hmm. Indigenous kids for the whole of the 20 years of my career, was the, the sense that why didn't anyone ever tell me this? Yes. Not that I could have used it, but that it would have given me um, well, I might have been able to use it, but mm. certainly giving me a sense of um, the complexities that, and the importance of building a relationship with the students and all that, um, and giving me a, a more than just a, a, a um, I guess, a superficial sense that these kids are different, but mm. more of a deeper understanding so that I could respect the needs of, mm. of the kids and, and hopefully improve my pedagogy and, and thus their learning. Right. So 
the issues that you've been grappling with that seem even more complex than some of the other presenters have dealt with and, and I think teachers would be able to see readily how they can take material back and apply it in their own school. I guess in this situation where it is complex and you said it's different in every school and, and every environment is going to be somewhat ch more challenging in different ways, are there resources or organisations that people who are, have participated in the school might draw on to help them in their own context? Um, yeah, well I've, I've written a book in this area. As I said, I'm certainly not an authority, but the reason there really isn't much around to help people in this area is because of the political overtones. And I, I always stress, even at the beginning of my session, that in order to try and get some understanding of Indigenous cultures, you have to make huge generalisations. Yes. And the risk of that of doing that with Indigenous people is that you're accused of racism. Mm -hmm. If you then go back to your school and say, these kids are Indigenous, so I'm going to do it this way. Mm -hmm. um, and it's certainly, you know, I, I guard against that totally in the same way that we work with, we say things about um, boys, this is how you teach boys and all the rest yes, of it. That yeah. Knowing that those kids are all on a continuum mm -hmm. and the, the need to be treating every child differently. I think that's probably the best resources that teachers can get that will help them in their work is talking to Indigenous people and community yep. worker, workers and liaison people within their school and their community. Mm. As I said, um, the way all of this will be applied will be different in every school mm. community.